Welcome back. Now we have a very special guest with us from Belmont Lines today. Mine is her dog Hudson. <laughs> I had to say that. I'm sorry. I just had to That's say right. that. Katrina Dawes is with us this afternoon. Katrina, welcome. Thank you. And sorry for not bringing Hudson. Yeah, but slightly that. disappointed. <laughs> I know. You're doing, you're yeah, doing. We're actually looking forward to him being here. <laughs> yeah, I know. Until next time. But he costs the big bucks. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, he said you're getting paid. Yeah. Um, but anyway, look, thank you for joining us. I know, you know, there's no game this week, so you don't have to rush off, and that's a good thing. Yes. Um, so Katrina, <coughs> you guys doing all right this season? Um, you played Werribee last week. Twenty-five goals was the deficit. Yeah, wasn't a bad result. Not at all. Um, mm. And we were talking earlier on. You've had your up and downs this season. You're not con playing consistently, which ha helps in a competition like this. Tell us, tell us where you find the balance. Tell us where the balance is for Belmont Lions in, in yeah, A grade. Yeah, I think definitely it's a really young team. Really young, um, and that. A lot of the uni girls um, have to go back home, things like that. We've had a few injuries as well. So at the moment, Bree, um, the head coach, is really just focusing on making sure that um, girls are settling into position. So hopefully that'll sort of be that rebuilding thing for next year because, as you said, not far off a lot of the teams. And across 60 minutes of netball, yeah. um, you know, falling to a team like Werribee by 25 is not. A no. It's a few broken centre passes and that's it. So. I suppose it's just finding that little bit of consistency because we have it for bits and pieces, just not for the full 60. And I suppose most of that inconsistency is unforced errors on your behalf, as you say. Yeah, definitely. So games that maybe you could have come closer to or could have won is due to your errors yeah. and not so much that the yeah, other team definitely. is better than you. Yeah, the girls definitely aren't being outplayed, um, I don't think. I think it's just having to change things around, you know, the passes. Um, aren't always on things like that because the girls are in different positions to yeah. what they're probably used to with injuries and pinning now, away. Now, Brie, your coach, yeah. she was injured, was she? Or no, what, did she have a baby? What did she have at the start of the season? She wasn't going to play. Between injury and a baby. Yeah. 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 I like yeah. her in here and say, congratulations. No, but I do recall she was not not playing and now yeah, she's, no, so she she's did still have, not. Uh, I don't know if I want to say what was yeah, sore. Wanna, she wasn't okay. pregnant, but no. um, yeah, so she wasn't. Um, playing, playing. She took on Correct. that coaching role. Yes. Um, but we were kind of fortunate enough that when we needed a goaler in B grade, Bree stepped into She stepped the, on, yes. I yeah, had which is quite a whisper. handy inclusion yes. in B grade um, for us. So, yeah. She, yeah, she wasn't too sure about committing to the A grade. And she's been on the bench at A grade a few times, but yeah. is very reluctant putting herself on. Sometimes we have to force her. Yeah, purely because she wants to concentrate on the coaching role. Is that. Yeah, and she's just a very unselfish person yeah. as well. Yeah. She'll always want to put other people. She's first and she's definitely that coach that wants to try and give all the girls that even time yeah. and um, that sort of thing as well so she doesn't want to put herself forward too much but we're happy to have her in B grade. That, that's a good thing to do but when you yeah. when you come into tough competitions you know sometimes you've got to put that softer side away yeah. and you need to bring out the brunt because yeah. otherwise that's why you go down to teams like you do yeah so uh, you know sometimes that can be a bad thing when you when you're that and that's what it was I think it was the game against um, Anarchy that we actually forced her to go on just yeah, yeah. she's such a level head yeah as yeah. well so that's sometimes what's needed just someone to settle that whole court down to yeah. and your game in particular positions what have you been playing this season? Um, Defence. I'd love to say mm. goals, but no, that's just <laughs> Hang on, hang on. Bree, Bree, we have a goaler in our midst. <laughs> no, 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 too much pressure. Haven't. Too much pressure. Uh, no, defence. So, yeah. yeah. And you're playing B grade yeah. this year? Yeah, B grade, yeah. Uh, now, B grade are sitting in fifth spot at the moment, yes. two points ahead of East. Uh, I haven't feel like that. <laughs> I'm not very happy with that at the moment, but it's going to be a battle to the end uh, yeah, between no us to take that fifth spot. So, you know, coming up, you've got West, you've got Crow, ones that you can win. So, What's your plan, I guess, you know, I guess with B grade and with your A grade yeah, from here? Probably try to kick you in the actual <laughs> way out. <laughs> um, yeah, so we were pretty happy with ourselves with B grade to get that win against Werribee on the weekend. It definitely puts us in a much better position for finals. Um, and, yeah, we've got a few tough games ahead, as you guys do, so it'll mm -hmm. just come down to those 
last few. Maybe the match can... that we play each other. Yeah. <laughs> have you had many girls from B grade play A grade? <coughs> yeah, we have. Yeah. So um, especially in defence, Sarah Henderson and myself have sat on the bench and played a few. Um, Bree's gone up as well. So because we've had so many injuries, people away, etc., yeah. we've really had to pull a few of those girls. Um, Which can be um, unsettling for both yeah, sides. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So yeah, sometimes it's been um, some of us playing. You know, six yeah. quarters in the yeah, game yeah, yeah. in a day, those sorts of yeah, things. Yeah, but you're so fit and healthy, yeah, like, you oh, know, yeah, yeah. Breeze, yeah, yeah. actually so breathe for you. Breeze. And young, yeah. and young. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it can be, but um, it's quite handy that we all train as a squad, so yeah. um, A and B, can't, there is that little bit of flexibility there that we all train together, yeah. so do the same things. So the, um, this is, is this your first year GDFL? Yeah, first year right. GDFL. Um, you approached another club but they knocked you back and Belmont yeah. Lions picked you up and now look at you. <laughs> yep, so, so yeah. So breaking into the A grades quite slowly. Yeah, so ran up another team, but happy to have been at Belmont. The trials and things like that just worked out better. I was injured in the pre-season, so yeah. Where did slot you in. play previously? Um, at St Mary's in the GFL. Okay. Yeah, so I was at the and how do you compare the two leagues? Completely different. Yeah, yeah. 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 massive Absolutely. difference. Do you think yeah. across the board, including umpires, including uh, fitness, um, skill level, what sort of, what comparisons can you make between the two? Um, I think Oh, it really depends on, uh, with both GFL and GFL, it comes down to the club. Different yep. clubs yep. are completely different standards as well and you could come up against a really tough team um, in the GDFL that would be right up there with the, some of the GFL teams, but then other clubs that, you know, struggle for players. Yeah. It can be, yeah, yeah. a bit different. So, I don't know. It really depends on the clubs, I think, and the different teams. Would you see uh, a side like Werribee, a quality side like Werribee, matching GDF, uh, GFL? Side? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, at St Mary's, we actually used to play um, Werribee in pre-season yep. comps. So, and they, especially with some of the height that they have yep. in the A grade as well. So, <laughs> they'll definitely take it to some of um, the, the GFL, GFL teams. But... Yep. Do you find it more physical? I mean, myself, I've come from the Colac League yep. and I actually find that coming into the GDFL, it's uh, definitely a lot more physical than um, the other leagues that I've played yeah. in. I think it might help. I played in obviously a lower grade in the GFL because that standard does move a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I, as a defender, I do enjoy being able to get away with a little bit more in the GDFL. Yeah, so. like as a goaler. <laughs> You'll be right, princess. Like. Hey, Bree's a princess. Like. No, no, no. I don't know which one to go with. <laughs> So currently we have got Belmont sitting on the ladder in A grade <coughs> eighth. Mm -hmm. It's only three games out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who go, who do you play in the last five rounds? Who have uh, you got? We've got Bell Post. Okay, uh, well that that's possibly achievable, achievable. Well, yeah, with, with the injury the that they yep. achieved um Bell Post had on Saturday. Yep, Thompson so will be a pretty tough one to try, try to get over the line. Yeah. Um but then we do have Carayo, okay, that's um, a, yeah, Inverley and, and West. West, yeah. So, so, so a couple few, of games, there's yep. a couple of, yeah. maybe three there that yeah. you possibly might have depending on everyone else above you. And that's yeah, it's gotta come down to what else happens. Sorry, who's yeah. defending Penny. for your A grade? Um, so we've got, we got Jill, height? Yeah, well yep. our, probably our tallest is Ruby Bowers. Okay, so she's taller than you. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that <laughs> tall. <laughs> but yeah, so there is that little bit of height, but Ruby's yep. definitely much more of that running goal defence. So yep. sometimes you, you know. Just thinking who could sort of shut down Melody, Phil Pot when you come across Thompson. Yeah, so Ruby bit... does jump back yep. to that goalkeeper role when you've got that really tall, but then you do miss her running yep. that ball out of defence as well. So yep. you sort of have to wipe your options of whether you want that height on there or whether you want her to stop it before she gets in there. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Well, you've got to buy this week, as I said, we've got to buy yeah. today. today yes. girl. So um, we'll be going out to any other games to watch, maybe, the three that are playing? Or yeah, maybe get along, spying, get along or... to East Geelong. Uh, uh, you know, we can do that. <laughs> Actually, we should go together and just give them... Um, yeah. Encouragement. Actually, that will be a good game for them today. Yeah. Actually, it would be a really good game. Um, <coughs> so overall, the whole senior grades, they've done well, C and D. Up there? Yeah, so C grade's um, eighth as well, and yeah. D grade's sitting Mid just range. outside. So okay. they've got the chance to still make the finals as well. Again, I think just across the board, yeah. just have that inconsistency, a few injuries. Yeah. Um, but as you say, you've got that rebuilding again yeah. too. Yeah, lots of so, new players. Yeah, yeah, yeah a lot which of new is good players, for Belmont. So, yeah, because yeah. Yeah. Uh, over the last couple of years, you know, you've sort of struggled, but yeah. you know. Right there. So. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. Well, Katrina, thank you so much for coming no in. We appreciate it. It's been great talking yeah. to Hudson. you. We don't, we don't yeah. have to rush off. Yeah. Go to Hudson now, because you've left him home alone. But thank you so much for coming in. And um, have a good day off. Yeah, thank you. Go and watch it. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic.
see you we'll there. We'll be back after the break. <laughs>